Welcome to the vlog! Welcome to the vlog! Welcome to the motherfucking vlog! Welcome to the 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 vlog! Season 3. Welcome to the vlog! So we woke up on Monday morning at the cabin and we were all a little hungover and tired but we got to the car and got in and drove off to the ferry. It was a very windy road and I definitely struggled a little bit but we made it and had a great ferry ride and last drive together. I just got home. Still haven't finished editing last week's vlog which is a bit unfortunate but I just don't have time right now to get it out at the usual Sunday night, Monday morning type deal it'll be released tonight which is still fine like it's not a big deal the drive to the ferry was the most nauseating experience of my life i'm still like not recovered from it that was tough but i'm feeling a lot better and i'm just looking forward to spending some time with family i had lunch with my grandparents and then my uncle and aunt and cousins came over and molly took a bit of a nap and then i came home and edited and we made pizza i got the vlog finally up i think at the end of the day i figured out a better way to render the videos but it literally took me like an hour and a half to get everything to work it was a little bit frustrating but the vlog's uploaded and it's all done and I don't have to worry about it again for another uh, seven days. So I'm just happy to be home and relaxing now. It is very warm. I don't know if you can tell from all the sweat that's on my face. I'm still thriving. It was really nice to have everyone over again. I think the kids really enjoyed the pizza and Everything just went really well, and at the end of the evening, we watched Avengers Endgame, which is a good movie, and yeah. Oh my god, it feels so good to be here in my room alone, to just have some time to recharge. I only have a couple days till I leave for Australia, so tomorrow is going to be a packing day, and yeah. That's where I am. I am back at the gym with George. I am so excited to see him. We haven't seen each other for probably um, just a little under a month, so... Very happy. So me and George were reunited. We were both so excited to get to spend the morning together. And then I went to my aunt and uncle's hotel to hang out with my cousins. And then we went for a walk down the seawall. It was so much fun to just be able to spend time with everybody and to talk to them and just have that little extra bonding time. We ended up going to Second Beach and spending some time there. It was great. Okay, I'm home. I'm just starting to fill out some forms for Vancouver Coastal Health. I think it's probably important to like get a little bit done before I go to Australia. And I actually just did a bunch of packing too, which is a big relief. I think I'm finally making some progress with that. It's kind of hard to pack for like three weeks, especially when you want to bring everything. But the packing cubes I got from my aunt in New York are really helping. And I'm feeling optimistic that I can get enough for while I'm there. I got to hang out with Zoe for a bit and reconnect. That was great. And then I got some Australian dollars and saw Sam the cat on the way home. So I'm meeting Silk and Ruth for supper tonight. Feeling good. I essentially spent the afternoon with Zoe and then I also was able to get um, some Australian dollars. Unfortunately, the place I went to only took either cash or debit. So I wasn't able to use my credit card so I couldn't get as much as I wanted. So I'm just gonna go back at some point tomorrow to get the rest of the money that I want for the trip. I will essentially be all set. Isn't that crazy? It doesn't feel real that I'm going to Australia in two days. It actually hasn't set in yet. I packed almost everything, but the part for me that is like difficult to comprehend is how long I'll be leaving for. Like the longest I've ever been away from home is for like six weeks in 2006 when my family and I went to France for six weeks. But obviously I was like really little and that's, <laughs> it's a bit different when you're traveling as a kid versus like traveling now as an adult. I'm very excited, just also nervous, but mostly excited. So we went to Taco, which is a Korean taqueria, and that was really good. I still got bibimbap, which is mostly Korean, and then we just hung out and sat by the seawall, and then we decided to get Ernest. I got a super yummy key lime pie flavor, and then we just hung out and watched the sunset all together and talked, and I saw a corgi, which was great. It was just a really good time, and then on Wednesday morning, I got up, worked out with George, and then we saw a corgi on the way back home, and that was super fun. I went off, got home, saw a crow, had some breakfast, and then it was time for me to go hang out with Nicole. We were saying bye to each other. I saw another corgi. We had a nice 10 kilometer walk. I'm really going to miss our walks when she moves to Toronto. 
I got home, relaxed a bit, and then my aunt and uncle and cousins came over with my grandparents. We had a little bit of cider before we headed off to Tavola for our restaurant dinner. It was really interesting. We got to do a little family style, and it was all vegetarian. They just served us a bunch of their pasta dishes and appetizers. It was so delicious. And at the end of the meal, my dad also got a limoncello that was house-made, and it had butterfly pea in it, so that was cool. On Thursday, Turner drove me to work out with George, our last session before Australia, and then I went to a dermatology appointment and then I just got home and edited the vlog. I was having one final meetup with Angela and George. We went to Honolulu Coffee and while I was there I saw this little baby seagull sitting outside. It was so adorable. I got a matcha, Angela got a Hawaiian coffee, and George joined us at the end. It was so nice to be able to say bye. I saw a corgi on the way back and I went and picked up my grandfather and we went to the theaters with my aunt and uncle and cousins. We saw Thor Love and Thunder. It was actually quite good. I'm not usually a superhero fan. I spent a couple extra hours with my family before meeting up with Turner and we got some sushi before I left. I was feeling very anxious before going. I think I just had a lot of nerves and I was really scared that something was gonna go wrong. Turner drove me to the airport and was sad to say bye. So I've arrived three hours early. I go to check in, I give them my visa, everything's looking good, and then she basically prints, she prints out two tickets for me, which I don't understand. She prints out the ticket, but then it says standby, so I might not get on the flight today. And I looked online, the next like direct flight to Sydney is tomorrow at 10 p.m. and the next direct flight to Sydney by Qantas, the airline that I'm flying with is Saturday. So it's so annoying. So good news is that I <laughs> got a seat. I haven't processed it yet, so I don't even know if it's like a middle seat or anything like that. All I care about is that I got a seat and I'm on my way to my gate and there's about an hour until we board, so probably more like almost like an hour and a half for me since I'm probably in like the furthest zone, but like you guys, I'm going to Australia. Can you believe it? Oh my god. They're boarding the flight right now. I took two like <laughs> drowsy antihistamines to help me fall asleep for the flight. I'm a little nervous because it's obviously 15 hours, but I think it'll be okay. It's kind of weird I lose the whole day. As soon as I make it to Sydney, I think everything will be okay. And obviously I'll check in throughout the flight and hopefully nothing bad happens. I ended up getting an aisle seat with a lot of room, so that was very exciting, and I fell asleep for 11 hours out of the 15 hour flight, had breakfast, brushed my teeth, and then I was off, and in Sydney, it was very exciting, I think I had a good experience. I am just in the airport in Sydney, I basically, it's like a whole process getting off the plane, so you have to get off, and then you have to get like this little ticket by scanning your passport, and then you get the ticket, you go through, and you put it through a machine, and it lets you through a door and then you walk through like the baggage claim area and I was like oh fuck did I like get off at the wrong spot because I have a connecting flight but no you have to everybody has to like put their baggage through an extra check to make sure you're not bringing um anything illegal into the country um especially like biohazards and stuff like that so had to do that check and then basically come out and I had to go through security again to get back here but now I'm in the domestic area of the airport and I'm waiting for my flight to Melbourne we board in like an hour so everything is good and simple now I'm so close to getting to Melbourne and I'm very excited to just end this airport escapade because although my flight went very well I slept for most of it I'm definitely feeling traveled out Hello folks, I am officially in Melbourne in the city. This is a very exciting moment for me. After like 21 hours of travel, we are finally at our destination. I'm waiting for Izzy to pick me up. Apparently there's some issues going on with the trams, so I'll be here for a bit, but feeling good. I finally found Izzy and that was so excited to be reunited and it feels kind of surreal that I'm in Australia. Like being with Izzy makes me feel like I'm in Vancouver almost. But anyway, so I got a little bit of brunch and then came back to her apartment and got to see Noah and we were all happy. <clears throat> Hello vlog. So 8 is 20. Trying my first Australian Tim Tam. Noah's in here by the way. Sorry. Oh, is it rude of me to not include? <laughs> no. Don't worry. Would you guys like a Tim Tam? No, I'm good. I'm good. No, okay. I will definitely help. Okay. Okay, we only have 18.30 is 6.30. 20.15 is 8.15. Yes. I think my Tim Tam. Okay, this is Izzo's favorite one. Well, 
Try without the coffee as well. It's the caramel that makes it. That's so good. You have to try the other flavors. There's more. Wait, no, I know there's like a chocolate one. Like original. Noah was watching footy, and maybe we're gonna go to a game at some point. I don't understand the rules, but that was cool. And Isa got together a great outfit, and we decided to go for a walk, and we went through a lot of different parks. This one is so pretty, yeah. and I saw a corgi, which was awesome. Saw a couple of different cool birds. We took the tram and ended up going to this Collingwood market. It was really cool. And we met up some of Isa's and Noah's friends, and we got some beer, had some drinks. It was very nice. And then we had dinner at Fonda, which Isa works at. It is about 11 right now, and Isa and Noah and some friends are going out. But I was falling asleep at the table sitting up, so I think that that's a sign for me to take it easy tonight and to be able to have some more energy tomorrow. Hello, I am going to go on a run. I don't have like a set kilometer um, idea. I just want to run and see Melbourne a bit. Hello, Mr. Crow. I didn't take any exciting shots of my run. I think I was focusing on breathing because I'll go into it later, but I'm out of shape. But it was good to be able to get a run in. I was very happy. I just got back from the run. It was about nine kilometers. And I will say I'm a bit out of shape for running, which is unfortunate. But, you know, you got to start somewhere, so I'm going to get back into it. And it felt good to get a longer distance in. I'm sorry, I'm like probably being boring. I'm just like kind of out of it because of the run. Like I'm literally like, <laughs> even though it was 10 degrees outside, I didn't feel like it was that bad of a temperature. Like I honestly wasn't suffering too much. So yeah, overall feeling excited. I relaxed for a little bit as it got up around noon because she was feeling very tired. We had some sourdough together. We both did a little bit of work. Once we were all ready, we decided to go out to brunch per Noah's suggestion and we walked there. It was a super sunny day. It wasn't very warm, but when you had the sun on you, it didn't feel too bad and like all the architecture in the city is so pretty. I had shakshuka for lunch and both Isa and Noah had a little egg sandwich and the fries in Melbourne are really fucking tasty. I mean, I've only had two servings so far but very good and then me and Isa continued going on a walk saw my first magpie and the city is just really exciting to be in and then I got a data plan okay, we have essentially just gone back I think some jet lag is kicking in because I feel a little tired and it's only 5 30 so I'm trying to stay awake so I'm gonna do some work on the blog a weird thing that's been happening is that for the past few days I've been getting hit with like waves of nausea and a bit of vertigo like dizziness something I can't handle but it's definitely not fun and I'm hoping that it's kind of just a symptom of jet lag or something like that. I'm gonna try and drink a bit more water. I think I haven't really been good about that just because I'm like out and about all day but tomorrow I'm gonna bring a tote bag for my water bottle. Just be a bit more conscious about making sure that I'm taking care of myself. I think tonight we're just eating in. We might go get ice cream afterwards which would be nice. Good to be a little more chill. Just make sure that I'm resting before like the next two weeks. Kind of just chilled at the house for a bit as I know I had some paperwork to do and we made dinner which was just rice, tofu, and vegetables. It was very tasty and I was very hungry and eager to eat it and then in the evening we went to get ice cream and I got a vegan pistachio flavor. Hello friends, I'm headed off to bed now. Okay, the ice cream we got was pretty great and yeah I'm just feeling tired but excited for this upcoming week. We're going to Queensland on Thursday um, I get to see more of Melbourne with Isa. Overall, there's just lots to look forward to. I'm excited to vlog it all. So, thank you for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys next week.